All right, here's the front of the property. Look at that nice setback with just the privacy of all those beautiful woods and easy care. So this is just the rest of the lawn that you have to take care of here. Not too bad, not too bad. And this is your smallish front porch. And now we're entering, and I'm gonna show you the living areas first. We got a tile foyer. You'll hear my little heels clipping on it. And this could be an office. And beyond that is the dining room, but we'll circle around and look at this fireplace. And remember I said that at least has a gas starter. And then those little glowing lights up there are not actually lights. They are the sunlight or skylights or something like that. Looks like we got surround sound. The paint looks good. Look at that pretty mantle. It's cozy. It's not super large, but it's not super small either. It'd be nice for a family. Let's continue around into the kitchen with a breakfast area. There's the one entrance to the backyard. Look at those beautiful windows with a view outside. Pretty cabinetry. Got a double professional refrigerator there, granite. A double sink that's very deep. I like all the um, recessed lighting. A look at that. Rustic beam, rustic chandelier. Beautiful um, Palladian window in there, floor to ceiling. We do have carpet in the dining room. That could potentially be a problem. But since we got tile in here, you could easily put some wood laminate down, a weekend project. All right, so here we are in this. There's the second entrance to the backyard. Here's your pantry, storage. And I really can't figure out the laundry room. This is the laundry room. It's got a water heater up to code. It's got cabinetry. And that apparently is a tankless water heater or maybe it's for your dryer. I do not know. I have no idea what that is for. And we got a penetration into the roof. There's an electrical panel. That looks like the dryer vent outside. And that looks like a washer, but they'd have to be awfully skinny. I'd have to figure that out. Looks like we had a water problem at some point in time. All right, let's look at the garage. Bob, the neighbor, the HOA neighbor, clued me in that there might be a problem with the garage. Er, let me, uh, well, okay, let me pause.